As you can see, we are under an umbrella again and we're back at Epcot. I was gonna to go to Magic Kingdom this morning. Ian is not with me, he was feeling a little bit sleepy, so he's just getting himself organized and we're obviously checking out today to go home, I can't believe it. And uh, I came back to Epcot because we got rained off yesterday and now it's raining again, but it's okay. I really want to do a few more of the um, World Showcase pavilions. And I, like I said, I was gonna to go to Magic Kingdom, but I think um, I really haven't spent enough time in the World Showcase, so that's what we're gonna to do today. And it was extremely busy coming into the park through the bag check this morning and through the park entrance. There were a lot of school groups and things. I'm tempted to ride a Special Perth again, but I did it a bunch yesterday and I really just think I will get to the World Showcase rather than hang around. It won't be fully open yet, but I really want to go to the bakery in France to get my breakfast. And after this, I'm supposed to be meeting Ian to play mini golf. I don't know if that's gonna happen. So we'll see if it stops. If it doesn't, we will probably go to Disney Springs to spend the last of our time there before we go to the airport. And I'm just gonna walk through Mouse Gear on my way, um, because there is one thing I forgot yesterday. There's always one more souvenir, right? So. <laughs> I'm gonna get that. Moments later. Okay, I've got what I needed. It's actually quite quiet in here for browsing, which is nice. But I have some countries to visit. I'm kind of tempted to stop and get a photo in front of the tree, but it is raining, so maybe not. And I'm in very desperate need of coffee. It's like 10 a.m. or something, and I haven't had any yet. I'm hoping Joffrey's is open on the way past. Okay, it is open, thank goodness. And I think I'm gonna pick up a donut for Ian because I don't know if he'll have had anything. He just messaged me, and we are on the five. 35 Magical Express or Tragical Express as the case may be. Okay, you'll have to excuse my vlogging because I am battling an umbrella, the vlog camera and my coffee. So we're at a bit of a weird angle here. The UK is really, really quiet and I'm imagining France will be a bit busier because it's pretty much the only thing that is open before 11 and um, because they have the Boulangerie Patisserie, which is where we're headed. I've got Ian's donuts and I'm not sure what I'm gonna have, but I'm excited. I love the pastries in there, they're amazing. And comment below if you're excited for Cherry Tree Lane, which is coming to the UK Pavilion, which is going to be some kind of Mary Poppins attraction. They haven't said quite what it's gonna be. But uh, yeah, let me know, I'm very excited for it. Okay, we're here in a very quiet France. As you can see, the weather is not really behaving itself this morning. And it's so nice walking around here when it's quiet. And they've got such cute Christmas decorations too. Okay, we are in. It's very busy, but that is not surprising. So they have tons of stuff in here in terms of like savory sandwiches and stuff, as well as all the pastries, this is where we're heading. So I decided to go for the hazelnut beignet. It kind of looks like a donut and it's got hazelnut inside, so let's see what it's like. So this is the inside, it just has a little bit of like chocolate hazelnut, but this really looks like a donut to me. This does not look like the beignets you get at Port Orleans. So I don't know, but it still looks nice. Okay, this is the current weather situation, basically pouring with rain. Let's just have a quick look around this store in the France Pavilion. Then I think we're gonna have to just make a go of it because I need to get to Japan and I will not be rained off for a second day in a row. So I'm just gonna have to suck it up, but it's fine. Let's just have a quick browse of what they have. It looks like they have their own spirit jersey in here. And this is 64.99, the same as all the other spirit jerseys. Things have way quietened down in the bakery, but the tables are all full because people are obviously trying to get out of this weather. So you can probably see the current weather situation behind me. It is absolutely pouring down. The question is, do I just put the umbrella up, go for it, potentially get soaked because I'll be getting changed later for the airport or stay here and live in the France Pavilion forever. Okay, I think we know the answer is that I'm just going to press on regardless, but the second I stepped out, it got even worse. And I'm wearing my Javianas today, thank goodness. I will link these things below. They are the most comfortable sandals for walking around the park. If it is raining and they get wet, they just dry right off as soon as the rain stops. Whereas if you're wearing trainers and stuff, obviously your feet get soaked. So they are amazing. It is my last day. I won't be deterred. We are going to Japan. Okay, it's literally about two minutes to 11 when the World Showcase opens, but they still have it roped off. So we're gonna have to wait a sec. Here's some pretend blue sky for you guys to look at just while we are waiting. We are through and there are a brave few people who are joining me. <laughs> 
It's hard to tell from the camera, but like, this is so bad. It is absolutely pouring. But we're in Florida, this happens. If you come on a Disney vacation, it's things like this you just have to be prepared for and not get super disappointed or annoyed because it just, yeah, it rains all the time. Okay, it just got heavier. This is a little much even for me, so I'm just gonna take a brief break. These guys know what to do, they have it sorted. Okay, I've just ducked into Tangerine Cafe in Morocco here to wait it out until it maybe eases up a little bit. Ian just messaged me, he is currently underneath the canopy at Cirque du Soleil. We've obviously abandoned mini golf, it goes without saying, so I'm gonna meet him at Disney Springs, but he is also stuck in rain. I think he did take an umbrella, but I don't know, maybe he didn't. That doesn't sound like him, I bet he didn't. And I should mention, I know I always get questions about this particular set of ears. These are from milamouse.com. Unfortunately, Joanna no longer has an ear store, so you can't get these exact ones, I'm sorry. Um, but they're one of my favorite pairs, so I still have to wear them. And my outfit today, which is doing a weird thing, Frill, what are you doing please? Okay, it's just gonna do its own thing. Uh, this is from boohoo.com. Okay, I'm just gonna go for it. This doesn't show any sign of easing up, so we're just gonna have to get there. I can see Japan, it's within reach. <laughs> so we're just gonna go for it. Oh my word. At least it's quiet. I kind of have the place to myself and I quite like it. Okay, we made it. And I immediately walk in and look at this. <laughs> that is so cute. I always love looking around here, they have such cool stuff. Need a plush banana? They got you covered. And let's go and check out our strange egg friends that we always look at. Basically this one I'm just staring at his butt as I walk up. There we go, we've turned him around, he's just sleeping on his egg. The one in bacon is so weird. <laughs> Kind of funny though. I mean at this point I feel like I do need to get something from this range because we look at it every single time. These look like they would be amazing as a pillow on the plane. It's actually really cool looking at all of this stuff. There is hardly anyone else in here. You can get to see everything without it being too crowded. Again we've mentioned this before but as a kid I was obsessed with collecting little erasers. You don't use them, you just collect them but it's cool. And it always amazes me the size of this store. It really is so huge. They have so much stuff. So I think these little boards. I am using my left hand. That's really cool. And then I'm guessing it will disappear. Okay, literally like watching paint dry wing to see if <laughs> it's gonna disappear. I'm sure it must do, let's see what it says. Buddha board mini is inspired by the Zen idea of living in the moment. You simply paint on the surface of water and your creation will come to life in a bold design. Then as the water slowly evaporates, your art will magically disappear, leaving you with a clean slate and a clear mind. It's environmentally friendly as it only uses water, no ink, no paint, no chemicals, and will last for years with proper care. That is very cool. You could uh, get one of those and have your thought for the day, put it on your desk at work or whatever. Yeah, you can already see it starting to disappear there. And then we come into the section with all the treats. Is this candy? Yeah, I think you make fried chicken and broccoli and stuff out of candy. This is pretty cool. And they have burger shaped cookies. These are very cute. $3.29. And they do also have some really strange looking stuff. Where is that gone? I've kind of moved things around in here. Oh, I think they're over here. Yeah, things like this. I don't know what this is. It says it's hot and it looks a bit tentacle like. And I think these are teeny tiny crabs. Oh, that is unsettling shrimp chips definitely a lot of stuff in here you can try if you like that kind of thing i am gonna get some of this candy because i always do i love these they're so good and i forget what these are called but they have tons oh japanese rice cake they do all the different flavors they're super squidgy they're like a really weird texture but they're quite nice they have drinks in here as well so it's well worth coming here to take a look at everything because they really do have so much stuff but we should go and check out because I do need to go and find Ian and I don't think I'm gonna get around many more of these pavilions because of this crazy rain but we'll go outside and see what it's doing I've never noticed these little signs here before so this one as you walk into this section says modern Japan and then it says Tokyo pop on the sign down there I'm guessing this one. Oh, this one says accessories because this is actually a department store and um, for that reason as well, because this isn't a Disney store, they don't do annual pass discount or anything here, but it's very cool. I love walking around here. I mean, in some offices I worked in, 100% this angry one was me at nine. And probably this one by midday. Oh dear, things have not improved out here. Oh my goodness, this is bad. I think I'm just gonna have to go for it because I do need to get to Disney Springs at some point to meet Ian. I was gonna go on round and do some of the other pavilions, but clearly 
um, I will get drenched if I do that. It's such a massive bummer because we didn't really get to do the World Showcase much yesterday, but it's fine. I will be back and at least we've got to do a couple of pavilions this morning. I will also probably go into Morocco on my way past. So uh, I'm just going to put you away while I do that walk. So we made it to Morocco and the roof is in action like we were talking about. Luckily this area is covered. And just in here is where you can meet Aladdin and Jasmine. They're not meeting the greeting at the moment, but they have a nice little setup in there. At least in the World Showcase, you can kind of dodge into the pavilions. It's just walking in between them. But there's plenty of places to stay dry. So I find it one of the better parks to be in when it's raining, actually. This little butterfly bracelet's really cute. And the kid court stop is very quiet today. Just head across into the other store. I love this one because it's got like really high ceilings and it's just really, really cool. You actually do feel like you're kind of transported somewhere else. I love these lamps so much, but obviously getting them home is a bit impractical. You could probably have them shipped, I guess. And it's always nice sitting in here, but the middle part is open, so <laughs> no one is in there at the minute. And the World Showcase tour that I did back in September, they're currently doing it now. I think you can see them maybe coming through. Oh, they were just about to come through here. What a day to be doing that tour. That is such a massive bummer, but it goes ahead regardless. Yeah, here's the tour group coming through. I can't imagine if you had today for your tour. Okay, let's brave it and head across to the other store. Woo! I think we're getting the entire trip's worth of rain in like a day and a half because we haven't had any the whole time like I was saying so we really can't complain. And in here they have a lot of apparel, they also have kind of homeware stuff, they do have quite a lot of jewellery in this pavilion and some of it is really extra which I love. And they do of course have ponchos which are necessary in this weather. Okay I think I can delay no more, I'm going to have to try and get to the beach club to go and meet Ian. Wish me luck, I will not vlog for the most part. Uh, because I don't want you guys to get wet, but <laughs> let's just go for it. It seems to have eased off a little, actually. Okay, this needed to be documented. The rain has stopped. I'm not sure how long for, but hopefully long enough for me to get to my next dry location. And people are starting to arrive now. I love this building in France. I really can't wait for the expansion here in France where they're going to be having the Ratatouille ride and a new restaurant. I'm very excited for that. And I think it's going to be summer 2020, I believe. I'll put it on the screen if I've got that wrong. And again, here are the candlelight processional narrators as a reminder. And we did miss Whoopi Goldberg. And um, we were here while she was doing her couple of days, but we didn't get to see it. That was the 6th and 7th. Where do you think Whoopi Goldberg would stay at Disney World? Because obviously she's here for two days. I'm going to say she stayed in the Yacht Club. Let me know in the comments what you think. So it's our last look at a park on this trip. I'm so glad it's Epcot because I do love it so much. I'll be back as soon as I possibly can, as you know. So yes, goodbye Epcot for this trip. And of course we are walking through the World Traveller store on the way out because that is just what we like to do. And they do sometimes have items in here that I don't see anywhere else. This ID holder is very cute. It's a 2020 one. So you can put your annual purse or tickets or whatever you want in there. And they also have the Skyliner items. You'll find these at Epcot, Hollywood Studios and all of the resorts that are served by the Skyliner. And another thing you can do during the holiday season is the Christmas tree spree, Chip and Dale's Christmas tree spree, which is a little scavenger hunt and you purchase the little map and I think you have stickers that you put on as you go around. And I think you get a Christmas ornament if you complete it. I'm just seeing what it says. It says return for a surprise. So Maybe it's not a Christmas ornament, I don't know. It's a surprise, but it's $6.99 plus tax and they have similar things at some of the other festivals as well. Oh, so someone was definitely on my side there because we just made it all the way to the beach club bus stop to get to Disney Springs and it didn't rain. So, whew, thank you, Florida. And the hair and makeup has survived for the most part. We're a bit frizzy, but not too bad. Yeah. So we have arrived in Flavortown. I'm excited about this. Yeah, me too. I'm excited about the sauces especially. It's so good. And this morning has been crazy. It's just been raining yeah, like... Yeah, these guys haven't seen me today. Have no, they, they haven't. No, Z in for the first time today. Hello. <laughs> so yeah, you did your thing, which they have seen. Yep. I put the bags down to my services, yeah, checked us out. Yeah. Had to book us onto our Magical Express because that hadn't happened. I seem to have dropped the ball there, I don't yep. know what's going That's on. your fault. Yeah, blame me. So I sorted that and then I had to pop to the store to get a gift from someone and then I came here and it was extremely rainy, really wild like thunderstorms. It's actually stopped now. Yeah, it has, yeah. But it still looks kind of overcast. 
I don't know. We're going to eat this chicken and then decide what we're going to do from there. Yeah, maybe go to the Pope rooftop bar or something. Yeah, maybe. Could be cool. Maybe I can talk you into still trying to play mini golf. Oh my word. <laughs> it's just such a risk. The rain seems to be We've like... We've got three games, so if it rains we can just abandon. Mm, maybe. We'll see. We're gonna have we'll see. We'll see. So we have food. I have the loaded fries. I always get these. They are incredible. Then we have some tenders. Ian also has fries, tenders. Yeah, sauces. Yep. We'll show you which sauces we got. Yeah. So you got some honey mustard, yeah, honey mustard. and donkey sauce. Mm -hmm. If you like that one. I have got some peri peri, Nashville hot honey, some barbecue, and then some habanero hot, which is like very liquidy, I'm which scared. I was not expecting. So I think that's probably going to be quite spicy. Yeah. We'll let you know when we're yeah. trying it. Well, when Ian's trying it, I'm not going to try that. <laughs> so hot sauce trying. That's it. So the barbecue is nice. I tried the peri peri, which is quite nice. Okay. This one was the Nashville hot honey. That was really quite spicy, okay. but now I'm going to try the habanero, which, hot, looks, just which like is, looks like water. Yeah, that's so weird. it's kind of scary. Oh, it's not that bad. Oh, really? I'll try it with a bit of chicken in a minute. Is it hotter than the um, whatever the no, other I think one the was? Hot honey one. The hot honey yeah. was the hot, the hotter one. Basically, if you don't like spicy, maybe don't have either of those. Oh no, definitely. If you don't like spicy, <laughs> you don't have these. So they're I all got free. Of the habanero. Yeah, I got the habanero that time. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's pretty spicy. Yeah. Okay, that was so good. Yeah, love chicken guy. And we've decided we are going to go and see Frozen here at Disney Springs. I couldn't talk her into playing mini golf. I, I tried. I'm just concerned that if it starts raining again, then we I think would it's be, fair. yeah, we'd be stuck there, and there wouldn't be time to then change plans. Yeah. So yeah, we're going to watch Frozen 2. Still haven't seen it. Very very excited for that, and then head back to Pop Century for the tragic tragical express. Tragical depressed. And it's pretty busy here at Disney Springs. I would imagine some people are avoiding the parks because of the rain. I noticed when I was walking down earlier that there's going to be an Ample Hills Creamery here, like nice. the one on the boardwalk. Cool. Love Ample That's Hills exciting. Creamery. It's so good. And Bongo's Cuban Cafe is completely gutted in there, as you can see. I think I vaguely did know that this was uh, closing down, but also I'd forgotten. And this is going to be Beatrix Restaurant, Market and Coffee Bar, which sounds really, really nice. I don't know if it's a chain or whether this is kind of like a one-off place. Oh yeah, BeatrixRestaurants.com, so it must be a chain. Two hours later. So we're all done watching Frozen. <laughs> what did you think? Yeah, it was okay. I enjoyed it. I think I liked it a little better than Ian. Um, obviously it wasn't as good as the first one, but sequels very rarely are to me, so it was good though. I liked it. I loved Olaf. He is awesome. And yeah, I do feel um, like Olaf kind of stole the show. He did. He totally stole the show. And now we're headed back to Pop Century. Get our tricycle it's time. I know, I can't believe it. I cannot believe this trip is almost over. Um, but we will uh, go to Pop Century, just hang out there for a bit, waiting for a Magical Express. And obviously we will uh, let you know when we're there. I kind of have some frizzy hair going on. I might have to do something to fix that. Maybe I'll braid it, inspired by Elsa and Anna. <laughs> we'll see. I think this Toy Story bus is one of my favourites. Mm. So cute. Oh no, the balloon is in the background. Uh -oh. It's back up and running. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I will link to an old vlog of me on that balloon. <laughs> then it will become clear. Well, this was perfect timing. Yay, we're back at Pop Century. And now we understand who all of these little guys are. They have the horse. Who this little guy though, love him. I love Sven. Yeah, and Olaf, obviously. This is the sweater that we looked at the other day, but it wasn't lit up at the time. So this is how it looks. Very cute. Forgotten how much it is. 64 night. So spirit jersey costs. Never seen this haunted mansion pen before. This is really cute. I really don't need any more pens though. And this Olaf one is adorable as well. I don't think I've seen this stitch themed candy before. So this is extreme sours. And they're Mike and Ike. And this one is Warhead. So they're like branded candy but then like branded up in stitch theme. So we're in the arcade, not because we frequent arcades, but because we're in the massage chairs. And this is where they've decided to put them, which is a little weird because, uh, you know, it's not overly relaxing because of the noise, but the massage is pretty amazing. We're just doing 10 minutes though, aren't we? Yeah. Oh, it's so aggressive. It is quite aggressive. 
Yeah, ow. Ah! Oh no! <laughs> okay, it is time to go. I've changed to a side braid, not very Elsa-like, but you know, it's the best I could do. <laughs> I need to do something for the aeroplane, otherwise my hair will just be crazy by the time I get there. So I'm hoping to be able to sleep, fingers crossed. Um, but we need to go get our Magical Express now, because actually we thought we'd have loads of time, and as always, we didn't. <laughs> so uh, we're just gonna go out and get that now. Ian's having slight luggage issues. <laughs> oh, it's okay. <laughs> Ooh. Ladies and gentlemen, our trip to reality, also known as Orlando International Airport, should take approximately, well, let me let me phrase it like this. It could take up to 50 minutes at this time of day. I'll get you there as safely and comfortably as possible. So we are here doing the classic bag shuffle because this suitcase is four kilos over. Maybe that, if it will go, is going to be room that's going to be the problem. So Ian has gone to get a drink. I am just going to really quickly go in the Universal store because there is a Christmas ornament I really want and we didn't get to Universal this time. So I'm just going to see if they have it. And they have a big Galaxy's Edge display on the outside of the new Disney store. They have this big new Disney store here at MCO. But I think we've seen a lot of Disney merch the last couple of days, so I should stay out there really. So we are having the standard tragic McDonald's meal. Sad airport Nuggets, McDonald's. as always, yeah. It's always a bit tragic, but uh, gotta be done. And they have a little Hollywood Studios overlay here on the monorail, which is really cute. It goes like around the glass doors. One eternity later. very fresh at this point in time I have to say we are very tired so it's a super bumpy road so we're kind of um, all over the place but we made it back the flight was fine it actually seemed quite quick I thought and um, we were talking to a really nice cabin crew member and she'd been to the Christmas party in the Magic Kingdom so that was really cool and yeah the process of just like getting through the airport was all fine and picking up our car and everything but now we are super tired very 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 tired <laughs> it was definitely a very very busy trip for us we did loads of stuff lots of early mornings because it was busier than we'd expected not just at Hollywood Studios because we knew Rise of the Resistance was obviously going to be crazy but I think so many people were there for that that everywhere was busy so every morning when we were going to parks um, we were needing to kind of get up fairly early and stuff so yeah it was a super busy trip but really really good and I think Ian enjoyed it he obviously yeah hasn't been for a while. It was really good to see a lot of the new stuff. Like yeah. I really I did really enjoy Galaxy's Edge, even though Rise of Resistance was kinda wild in terms yeah. of crowds and busyness and trying to get on boarding it. groups and all the rest of it. But yeah, Toy Story Land was really, really cool. I loved Slinky Dog Dash, which yeah. I knew I would because you told me how much you liked it. And yeah, I got to do some new things that I haven't done before, even if they're not new attractions, like I did Peter Pan, which I don't think I've ever done before. No, no. Um, and yeah, some other bits and bobs. But yeah, overall it was great, like some really nice meals as well. Although yes. we did change a couple of our plans yeah. and drop a couple of the like signatures we were gonna do, I think that was for the best um, because we had a lot on. And we were just too tired to yeah, appreciate it and it. you know you don't want to go out and spend loads on a signature dining experience if you're too tired to really yeah. enjoy it and like yachtsman was fantastic like yes, in the way it, is. it was so yeah and we had the greatest um server at oh the my gosh he was awesome i don't think we mentioned actually um what was his name it was um oh i can't remember ricardo yes ricardo ricardo he was just awesome. He was, he was hilarious. hilarious. Yeah. Absolutely hilarious. Really funny guy. 
yeah whenever you get to this stage in the trip where you're kind of you feel like you're crawling home whether it's by car by train however you're getting back and you just think oh my gosh i need to get into some comfortable clothes and fall asleep basically <laughs> uh, but yeah we've had an amazing time it really has been great and as always i've loved vlogging it all i can't wait to share these with you and by the time these vlogs are finishing no doubt i will be off somewhere else i hope but we're very excited to always share disney with you for those of you who are looking forward to a trip whether you've got one already booked whether you are planning to book one whether you don't have a trip booked at all and you just really would love to go to disney world or any of the disney parks that we go to and um, can't be there for whatever reason we do love trying to share as much of it as possible you know the channel is Disney in detail and I really do try to show as much detail as I can so you feel like you're along on the trip with us so I really hope you enjoyed it if you did give this a thumbs up let me know in the comments if you're excited for our next trip don't forget to subscribe because there are always new vlogs and other videos coming up and I do have my other channel Victoria in detail I will link that below we do have a community over on Patreon as well where you can get involved in the patreon park days like we mentioned in that episode of the vlogs so everything will be linked below so you can check all of that out so as always thank you guys so much for sharing this trip with us and we are going to see you really soon for another new set of disney vlogs bye bye